Hey there, Rivet family. Happy Tuesday. Doing a workout today called Seven Wonders. Um, we got some deadlift, we have some toes to bar, we have some push press, and we have some rowing for meters. I won't bore you out by explaining the whole workout. It's written there in front of you. Uh, hopefully it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, the one thing I will say though, is you're gonna be doing multiple rounds of seven, 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 right? Seven deadlift, seven toes to bar, and seven push press. The goal today is to do each of those sevens unbroken. The deadlift should not be a problem for everybody. That's gonna be relatively light. The toes to bar and the push press will definitely be more challenging. So I want you to pick a weight um, that you can do your push press every single time, unbroken, right? Clean that bar up or those dumbbells, whichever one you're using, do seven reps before you put it back down again. Same thing with our toes to bar. I want you to be able to do seven reps unbroken every time. So find a variation that you can do that with. Um, and or if you're struggling with toes to bar a little bit, we could also decrease the number on that particular movement if you want to a five or a four. But something you can, I want you to hop up on that bar, do your, uh, your seven reps or whatever it is unbroken before getting off the bar, okay? Um, and again, for you folks uh, who aren't quite there yet with uh, barbells or toes to bar, check my programming notes. I got all the variations there for you. Uh, knees to chest, knees to elbows, straight leg raises. They're all there for you. Find something that works for you. All right, so movement focuses today. I always like to give you guys something to focus on in each of these movements. So I'll start with the toes to bar and the push press. We're thinking heels today. Us coaches are often yelling at you guys to go heels down. Well, there's a reason for that. So push press, no matter what kind of weight you're using, whether it's dumbbells or a barbell on the shoulders, we are using those legs to generate power, and then we're using the arms to press the bar, finish the movement, and go all the way up overhead, right? So we dip first, we keep those knees bent, we drive up, and we go up all the way up overhead, right? Dip, drive, and press. So we gotta keep those heels down in the dip and the drive. It's very important. So as we basically drop straight down, we bend those knees. We want to make sure those heels are glued to the floor, right, in the dip. And then the drive, same thing again. We're driving those heels down as we extend the knees and the hips, right? Drive those heels down the floor for maximum power and upward drag. Um, toes to bar, same deal. Uh, thinking about heels, we're keeping our heels pressed together. We talk a lot about actively bringing those toes up to the bar when we do these. The same rule applies to leg raises or knees to elbow or anything talk about toes. Let's really focus on actively pulling those heels back and down behind us. So we end up in that nice arch position. This is our loaded position. So we go right back up into that next toes to bar, right? So keep the heels pressed together and actively pull them back and down behind you, keeping a lot of tension throughout the body so you can go right back up to the bar. If you've ever had trouble linking toes to bar together, this is probably your issue. You're just letting those heels kind of drop and you're just kind of relaxing. So actively pull down, bam, Get a nice tight arch, go right back up into your next toes to bar. And then the last thing, deadlifts and rowing. Let's think about finished position today. So with our deadlifts, whether we're doing a kettlebell, dumbbells, barbell, whatever, our finished position when we pull from the floor should be a neutral position, right? We want the middle of the shoulder, right over the middle of the hip, right over the middle of the knee. Two common faults with the deadlift are not opening the hips enough. So we kind of ended up with a kind of lean slightly forward, right? The shoulders are ahead of the hips. So this is a not finished position. Or every once in a while, we see people kind of actually overextending, right? They're kind of pushing those hips forward to finish the deadlift. This actually puts a lot of compression on your low back. It's no good. So deadlifts, we're just standing up nice and tall. Just like you would be standing here if you weren't carrying it, yeah, lifting any weight, right? It's nice, just kind of neutral finished position. And then on the rower, it's very important here, finish position, to not lean back too far. We talk a lot about catch position, which is very important, but finish position is also important. What we're looking for here in the finish is basically a real slight lean back, right? We should get to here with the arms extended, the shoulders are slightly ahead of the hips. We lean back at the hips, and our finish position is the shoulders are just slightly behind the hips now. We go from about what cost from like 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock. Common thing here is people tend to overextend, like they think they're going to get a little bit more, more leverage, a few couple more meters by leaning way back. But essentially what you're doing here is you're making yourself do a sit-up, right? You're putting a lot of tension on the abs right here, then you have to do a sit-up every single time. So very taxing to your midline. So just a little finished position, just a small, small lean, shoulders just behind the hips. All right. Those are your tips for the day. Keep those in mind when you're warming up and when you're doing your workout today. 
Get after it, guys. Have fun, work hard, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.